What's the freakiest thing you've done in bed? Dressed up as a vampire and hid under the sheets waiting for my wife to come home. Let a sorority girl handcuff me to the bed, knowing she didn't have the key. Her sisters cut me out with bolt cutters later that evening. Harder sneezing fit while eating not stop laughing after. Banged as soon as we woke up, and when I was coming she breathed her morning breathe right into my nose, I came so hard. Not my proudest fuck, but I liked it. There was this one time I laid down and blacked out to have a diabetic seizure. My roommate noticed and called for paramedics. I distinctly remember trying to thrash around to grasp something to pull myself up. To everyone else though it just looked like I was wildly punching myself in the dick. Also I'm told I kicked a police officer several times during that seizure. I took one sock off and I also let my leg hang out from the bed where the monster could catch me smiling face with horns. Fuck two girls on my Transformers bed sheets. Slept so hard my toes cramped up. While masturbating I had a super intense orgasm. I thought everything was fine but when I looked down I realized I pooped the bed. Dog started humping the pillow next to me while I was humping my wife. I slapped his ass yelling let's go. She busted out laughing while I mad out on her back. Then we went to Taco Bell, all three of us. Put a champagne cork in my bum and farted it out for my ex-wife's amusement but I shit the bed and then cried. I ate boiling hot soup with my shirt off in bed. Stuck my thumb in her ass in doggy then she shit all over my hand and I threw up on her back. My wife and I occasionally sleep naked, that's not the freaky thing but it will become important later. I woke up one morning to find myself covered in random brown streaks. Legs, arms, and a big spot on my stomach. I looked over at my wife and said, what the hell happened as I noticed her whole back and arms were also covered. Turns out, she was eating chocolate chips in the bed, forgot them, and the bag spilled open and melted between us while we slept. We laughed it off, but was definitely a terrifying thing to wake up to. Well, when I fingered her, she shit down my arm. My wife likes it when I eat her out from behind and last night for some reason I started licking her asshole which she responded very positively to, which turned me on, and I proceeded to eat her asshole out for like 5 minutes. It was a first for both of us. Pretty tame but I would have to say probably that. I fell asleep with my jeans on at age 33 and woke up like I was in a fucking not her dimension. Just wow what bed is this, is this my house? Why am I covered in drool? Either I became a werewolf or was in a light coma. It's 2023, what's even considered freaky anymore? Slept for a whole 8 hours uninterrupted. I still fantasize about this all the time. Ate a big prime rib dinner then farted so loud the sheets rippled. Passed out on the job with a girl I'd been seeing for a few weeks missionary position. It's no excuse, but to be fair it was my 22nd birthday, I'd been bought a lot of drinks that night, and my dad had died two days prior. Come from but stuff without touching my dick at all. I ate a whole cake in bed the other day while watching the extended cut of the two towers. Sadly, these days as a single gent, that's about as kinky as I get. Have mismatched sheets and pillow covers. Peeing on someone while they were inside me. One time I went to sleep, woke up and couldn't move while some nightmare creature stared at me. Got a BJ from the back. Then she proceeded to eat my ass. Weird feeling. I put my finger halfway up a dude's butthole. And that was enough. Eating on my SO side so my side doesn't have crumbs but his side does elm foul. Ate my man's butt and made him beg for more shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. Smoked a joint while getting my back blown out. A foursome in my late teens. It was fun and memorable. 
but more like partner swapping and just having sex next to another pair than anything else. Used a king-size duvet on a queen bed. Ate a nature valley bar in bed. Twisted my leg at an almost 360 angle. If I had to guess, maybe 350. All I know is that I will never do it again. Shoved a toothbrush up my butt. I once slept for 16 hours straight. An ex and I swapped with another couple we met on Facebook. I fed a spider a dead fly with tweezers. My first time was with a friend while my partner at the time handcuffed me to a bed and watched from across the room. I was in high school, on a marching band trip. We were in the cabins of a campground Camp Jameson for any of the real ones out there and the walls were thin. We were walked in on and it was awkward. Foursome with about 25 people watching. Technically it wasn't in bed. Kind of a sofa thing. But I digress. Once this girl asked me to simultaneously fist her, choke her, and penetrate her anally is that the spelling? I felt like a confused sex pretzel. I dated this really nasty freak. She was like, oh yeah, let's do it. I'm so nasty. And I'd be nailing her. She'd be like, oh, you're nailing me. Me so horny. Me love you long time. I grabbed her breasts, and they were like bags of sand. As to mouth. A guy wanked me off, while his GF blew me. I came on her tits, but one shot him on the left eyebrow. Loved and accepted myself for who I am. Then I woke up. I was having my bi awakening, and I was going a bit crazy as a divorce process was going on. I dealt with it by having my first experience with a guy be a threesome with a gay couple. I was in between them. Come over my own face while jerking off. Rolled over and woke up a complete stranger who wasn't there when I went to sleep. I woke up hungover, face planted into half a pizza. Had sex with a woman. My girlfriend at the time wanted to do a kidnapping roleplay. So we decided on having me tie her to her bedposts and I teased her with toys and slowly seduced her into submission. I didn't think it was gonna be my thing but it got really hot and I really got into it. She basically pounced me when she got loose. Using bondage to completely immobilize my submissive friend, whilst using him for my own pleasure and tormenting him. Impact play on the same friend and some pegging. Ate a full Indian takeout. Curries, rice, naan, side orders, and poppadoms. Decided I trusted someone enough to tongue their booty hole. Once I was past the realization it doesn't taste like poop, I got into it, lips and everything going in on the dark arts. She let this huge nasty fart rip with such power it shot through my lungs and I bathed trailing from bedroom to bathroom. She was laughing hysterically, in pleasure of her first human centipeding. Fuck you Brittany, I trusted you. Got peed on while she was on top and I finish in her while bounding up and down. Blindfolded and tied my naked partner at the time to a wooden chair in a huge empty room I had in my place. Sometimes she'd be gagged. Sometimes not. Complete darkness. Blaring black metal emo. Light whipping smacks. Scratching. Oral. I'd leave the room for 5 minutes or 15. Come back at my leisure. Music blaring the whole time. I'd eventually release her and would fuck hard for 10-20 minutes. Did this more than a few times. My friends would ask why there was a single chair in this huge room and I'd just say that's how I do. Don't sit in it lol. Fisting. Used Hershey syrup as lube. It's a no-no but we didn't 